Hey guys, welcome to my Orchard Videos. And I'm George. Well, maybe some of you guys didn't know my real name. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> the uh, articulating tractor is taking shape slowly but surely. So, here's the uh, hydraulic drive. And here's the chain. I finally got my sprockets, finally. They're uh, weld on sprockets. weld them on there. I probably should be using a stronger big welder but uh, it is what it is. So here's the sprockets here. Two different sizes. So I got uh, two of each so this time I got the correct number of teeth so it's no problem. So on there. Anyways, take it down here. I'm actually going in for the night because well I'm not going in for the night. I should have to go to work but uh, I have to get uh, thing for that one of these something like this anyway to tension the chain but this is not long enough so anyways it's um you know what uh, in in life I've been called a lot of things on my life a lot of different things people call me stupid called me all sorts of stuff in my life but the things I know how to do, I do the best at. Maybe welding is not, <laughs> maybe welding is not the best, but, uh, you know, if I had probably a stronger welder, it might be a different story. But don't look too closely. But uh, gear drive stuff, I really understand, because I do, I have lots of it here on the farm, right? And uh, but what I've gone back to in the past is this, this idea is similar to a skid steer. You, um, I don't, I'm not sure if the new skid steers, but, uh, well, the new ones are all hydraulic, right? You actually have a hydraulic drive, some, something similar to this, per wheel. But this is old school. We have a hydraulic drive that powers the, the differential. So, but this is going to be all tensioned up. At least now you get an idea how this, how this kind of works. So, um, you know, it's simple and crude, but... This idea has been, they've used this idea for many, many years uh, in all sorts of applications all over the world and like all different, like all sorts of name brands, all sorts of equipment use the same application and it works, it's effective. Chain, hydraulic drive and sprockets on your drives. Very simple, simple and crude. But this is something I understand how to do because I've done lots of it, so... Uh, Call it what it is, but this is the only way to do it. Um, you know, the other way it would have been to do it would be to have a, a straight axle with the hydraulic drive and a chain on the axle, and then you just operate that way. But I'm doing it the way I'm doing it because it's the best way to do it. So very similar to what I have outside there. So on the machine, but well. Whatever, it's the uh, same same idea. So, yep, so it's coming along pretty good. I got the chain. Actually, I cut two chains, same one a bit longer than the other, thinking that I was going to be using this damn anchor bolt. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you call this, but whatever. I, I call them anchor bolts. But it's a specialty one here. But uh, get one maybe a couple inches longer than this here. It's just too short. Anyways, thinking I could use this, I cut another chain, and didn't have enough enough length either, and didn't want to screw up. But anyways, I got another chain and they're ready for the back one, for the air machine there. So, but yeah. So anyways, another update. It's coming along pretty good. Once I get all this stuff here all uh, uh, done and everything, then I can carry on and do the back side, get that done, and then we can... And weld the joints in there and start working on the steering. So yeah, so it's coming on pretty good. You know, I, I'm glad that I got donor parts. Just kind of stuff because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do. Uh, it's a, these, these motors are very, very expensive. You know, they're three, four hundred dollars a piece, if not more. So, but uh, yeah, so I'm glad I got those. Um... I'm going to have to get uh, a hydraulic uh, 
uh, hose crimper too. And I'm gonna go to smaller hose and this is probably gonna go to quarter inch or three eighths. Don't need very big hose. I mean like on the uh, Kubota back hose they use, I think it's either three eighths or quarter inch hose they use on them and they're good to 1500 PSI. So I doubt I'm gonna need that kind of PSI on this, right? So, but you know, whatever, small hose, you can get high PSI in small hose, so it works. But I need to get a hose crimper. So uh, I don't know what uh, which style yet. I see many different styles. I have to pick the style that works the best and the most affordable, of course. So yeah, um, I'd rather get my own uh, get my own tools, do my own thing. That way, I just buy the hose and the fittings, and I'm good to go. Right, make things that cut things the way I want and make everything fit the way I want it. So yeah, that's the way it is. DIY. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my uh, channel. And if you have any questions regarding uh, hydraulic drives and chains and so forth, uh, just post in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching.